So let's talk about Upwork, freelancing, and three reasons why you shouldn't start doing it. Now, if you're new here, my name is Michael. Hi, and uh, I made thousands of dollars on Upwork automating business processes for clients using new modern tools like make.com or N8N. So I think I know a thing or two that I would like to share with you guys today. So let's talk about it. So the first reason why you might not want to start freelancing on Upwork or Fiverr or any other freelancing platforms is if you need money. Okay, so if you have bills that needs to be paid, right, you need to put food on the table, uh, you have rent, you know, upcoming rent payments, don't start Upworking, don't start freelancing, right? Especially if you are new to freelancing, this is not the way to go. At least that's what I think. Because when you are new, it takes time to get those clients. It takes time to get that money that you want to get paid. Right? And it's much safer and a much better way to just find a part-time job or find a full-time job, get a stable income, cover all the costs, cover all the expenses, bills, rent, food, so that you can focus on actually, you know, building business, right? Making freelancing work, right? Now imagine that if, if you don't have any money and you need money quickly, the clients when you jump on the calls will feel the desperate need for the money right and you would also most of the time not respect your own worth right and what would end up happening would be that you would be doing a ridiculous amount of work for very low money and not only are you you know burning out but also you're not making enough money to pay the bills and this is just a bad bad way to go okay so if you need money that expense that needs, needs to be paid right bills rent don't try to upward don't try to freelance figure that thing out first so you have room to you know build your freelancing uh, profile in peace right because if you are constantly thinking about money right i need to put money on the table like very very fast and you know, every single day it will you know stress you out it will burn out right it will not be enjoyable and uh, you don't want to be in that place so first make stable income right you can make a very good income with you know part-time jobs and or full-time jobs so take advantage of that try to save up and then once you have you know stable income or you have saved up a stash of cash for four or six months then you can start kind of transitioning to freelancing building a profile to a point where you can actually transition fully and uh, have a much better life better income right so that's the first reason so the second reason is if you don't want to become an entrepreneur freelancing might not be for you right now you might be very good at your craft Right? Let's say it's you know design, copywriting, building websites, building apps, project management, video editing, right? Whatever it is, you might be very good at the craft. You might be passionate about that craft, but you are not maybe necessarily interested or might not want to do other things that are related to businesses like jumping on a calls with clients, right? Reaching out to clients, managing different projects, right? Staying on top of things, following up with clients. And if things go badly, you have to kind of ease out uh, the tense situation with clients as well, right? So if you don't want to do these things, which you can't really avoid because, you know, if you're a freelancer, you're still a business in a sense. You have to still do a lot of things outside of that craft, outside of that service, so that your business can function, you know? Uh, when you're starting out, you don't really have the money or luxury to, you know, have specialized people in place that, you know, bring new clients, that onboard new clients and, you know, all the other aspect of a business so that you can focus on your own service delivery there's no uh we don't have the luxury as a beginner as when, when starting out right so when you're starting out as a freelancer it's a one-man thing you are basically the ceo of a small service-based company and the things that you need to do will most of the times not be that craft right if you're a designer most of the times you won't be designing okay the service delivery thing is the minimum of what you need to do you have to do a lot of other things that you can't really avoid as a uh, starting freelancer or a small business, okay? So if you don't want to deal with the entrepreneurship things, don't start freelancing, right? You might, you will be better off uh, just finding a nice company to settle in, right? There's nothing wrong with that. You can make a lot of money just being, uh, you know, in a company as an employee, right? And not only will you most of the times just focus on that craft, right? So if you are a copywriter or a video editor, if you're in a company or a small startup, most of the times, 90% of the times, you will just be focusing on that craft, right? Because since it's a company, since it's a team, you have a team, you can really focus on that specialized activity, specialized service, 
Whereas if you were starting on Upwork freelancing, you're alone. So you have to do all of the things that you would not do otherwise in a company. Okay, so that's number two. So the last reason why you might not want to start freelancing is if your niche or industry is saturated. Right now, there are some nuances to that. I feel like or I believe that there's no such thing as true saturation. No matter niche, you can always stand out. You can always find ways to make it better, make it more appealing so that you can make, you know, decent money, right? 5K a month, 10K a month, 15K a month. I think no matter the niche, you can still find a way uh, if you have a good strategy, you have good tactics, you are, you know, persistent and diligent. All right. But it is definitely true, right? It is 100% true that some niches, some industries are just easier than other, right? For example, my industry, my niche, which is building automations for businesses using no-code tools like N8N or Make.com. Right now, it's like booming a little bit, right? Uh, getting clients is easy, not super easy, okay? It, it still requires some work, but it's way easier to get clients on Upwork, for, for instance, for my niche, than getting clients on Upwork for you know, web design or copywriting, right? Because those industries have been here longer. A lot of people are, you know, in that industry and uh, with AI tools, it's getting more and more saturated and it's most of the times raised to the bottom, right? So before actually starting freelancing, right? Let's say that you have a stable income, right? You don't mind being an entrepreneur, but before jumping in, check the industry first, right? You can jump on Upwork, jump on Fiverr, look at the talents, look at the job posts. In Upwork, there's a section for job posts and uh, you can see how many proposals each job post is getting, right? So if the niche is very competitive, even the freshest job posts that came out like a few hours ago would have like 20, 50 plus proposals, right? That's a pretty good sign that it's very competitive. So if that's the case, maybe you need to figure out a different way, right? If you're not new to freelancing, right? Um, you have experience, you know, definitely go for it. I, I, I don't really, uh, I can't really t uh, tell you what to do. But if you are a beginner, really think twice before jumping in, right? That's basically the, the third reason, right? Check out the niche, check out the industry if it's you know too saturated or not. So to wrap it up, these are just my thoughts on why you shouldn't start up working, right? I'm not saying that you should never start you know side business, side hustle. I think if you want to challenge yourself, right, maybe learn a few things about yourself, or you want to just see where you can take this, where you can take your skills, challenge yourself, and maybe you know, improve yourself as a human being, as an entrepreneur, as a you know a problem solver. Freelancing is a good starting point. You will learn a lot about yourself, right? About your work ethic, willpower, <laughs> patience, and a lot of other things, communication skills as well. So I 100%, 100% support everybody that wants to start. However, really think twice before jumping 100% in, right? It's always better to keep that stable income so you have to worry about the bills, keep this as a side project, right? So that you can think clearly, right? If you're always out of money, your mind will get clouded, right? And you will not think clearly, you'll be agitated most of the times. That's not a place you want to be, right? And yeah, essentially, those were my thoughts. Hopefully that helped. Um, if you found this valuable, drop a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. And uh, if you want to learn more about automation tools, uh, automating businesses with tools like main.com or N8N, check out my community. I'm starting a new community where I you know, basically talk about that, talk about my niche, how to make money online, on Upwork, and how to you know use automations to really cut costs and reduce costs in your business. So check that out. I would love to see you in one of the live calls. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.